Silverstone, the ultimate action hero. At least that's what I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Nigga, what kind of theme song is this? Oh, nah. Are you just narrating your life over this weak ass Even Stevens type beat? That's kind of trash, bro. You should have did a freestyle or something. What are you doing? So the show premiered October 25th, 1998. It went for three seasons and ended in 2001. It had a Disney Channel original movie and everything. It's about a teenage actor named Jet Jackson. He plays a spy on this TV show called Silverstone. So it's like a show within a show most of the time. You see him doing action spy stuff on TV. Then he goes home and tries to be a regular kid. The series went through a bunch of changes throughout its three seasons. It started off focusing mainly on Jet Jackson trying to be normal and live his life in a small town. Apparently in season three though, they leaned way more into the action, the Silverstone stuff, to the point where most of the episodes don't even show his real life anymore. You download the security codes in this disc, and we're home free. I'm just trying to get enough cash to start my own skateboard line. Go in the house. So the actor is Jet Jackson, and the character is Silverstone. Hey, call me crazy, but Jet Jackson is a way cooler spy name than Silverstone. What is that? It sounds like a weak ass Steven Seagal movie. Now I gotta admit, I didn't really watch the show like that. I was never a Disney Channel fan. I was definitely more of a Cartoon Network kid, Nickelodeon. This shit was like for weenies. That shit was for Christian homeschool kids. But I've seen a few episodes. I vaguely remember this one. He trying to smash Beyonce. Beyonce's acting is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Let's take a look though. Famous Jet Jackson. He joined in Destiny's Child or something. Like Scribe. This is cool. You think I could cut it as an actor? <laughs> so it starts off with Jet Jackson filming his Silverstone show. Destiny's Child are the guest stars in this episode. They out here smuggling drugs or microphones into the country or something. I wasn't paying attention. Destiny's Child? Well, yes it is. It seems an international criminal consortium has stolen some microfiche containing the nuclear codes from the former Soviet Union. The person's responsible for bringing it into the country. Destiny's Child. But as far as we know, they know nothing about it. Must get back to my... Research. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, this nigga got a fake Alfred and everything? I see you, Jet Jackson. Why he dressed like a damn cat burglar? I wouldn't trust this nigga to have my back low key. Does he always dress like this? Oh, nah. Also, what song is this? Is this supposed to be a Destiny Child song? I never heard this one. Who produced this? Who made this beat? Did a drunk ass clown make this beat? Check, check, testing, one, two. Oh my God. What? Come on now, Phil. Yeah, ease up. He said he was sorry. All due respect, princesses, just let me do my job. Mm. And who are you? Rob Stone. Aren't you a little young to be a roadie? Aren't you a little old to be rocking that ponytail? Mm. Beyonce comes over and introduces herself. They playing this romantic music, and the whole episode, they kind of implying some sort of romantic connection here. This nigga's like 14, but okay. Well, thanks for sticking up for us. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. I'm glad you're with us, bro. What you want some dick? Jet Jackson is back at home with his dad, Wood. Wood Jackson. Ew, pause. They talk about how fine Beyonce is and all that. They get a knock on the door and it's their grandma's new boyfriend. Jet Jackson's great grandma lives here and she's got some B-plot about dating this motorcycle dude. Hey man, you must be Coretta's son. I'm her grandson. She makes for a more comfy ride on the back of Clarence's hog. As in motorcycle? That would be my ride. Later would. No, I agree. Don't get your old ass on no fucking motorcycle. Are you crazy? You're like 99 years old. You can't even walk down the fucking steps. You about to get on the back of a motorcycle? That's crazy. Go take your medicine. So Jet Jackson is back at the studio looking for clues. Beyonce shows up and starts interrogating him, basically. And hey, Beyonce is an amazing singer, but the acting skills is on zero here. It's like Tommy Wiseau type acting. Hi, babe. You seem to be having a problem with telling the truth. 
Ralph Stone. I hate liars. I'm your bodyguard. Personally, I'm not interested in a bodyguard. And even more personally, I'm not interested in a liar. So later for you, Stone. Mm. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. This episode of Princess Cinema is sponsored by ShipStation. Are you ready to take your business to the next level? ShipStation is the ultimate solution for e-commerce shipping and order management. I'm just trying to get enough cash to start my own skateboard line. Running an online store can be a nightmare, bro. You got shipping labels, tracking numbers, customer emails, it's too much. Thankfully, ShipStation is here to take your business to the next level. It seamlessly integrates with all major e-commerce platforms so you can manage all your orders in one place. Plus, it connects to all the top carriers from USPS to FedEx and more. ShipStation saves you time and money with discounted shipping rates you won't find anywhere else. And their powerful automation tools take care of repetitive tasks so you can focus on growing your business. You can track all your shipments right from their dashboard. It's like having your own shipping department. So whether you're a small business or a big e-commerce brand, ShipStation is your secret weapon for success. Go to ShipStation.com and use the code PREM to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code PREM. Make sure you check them out. Thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring. Okay, on with the video. Beyonce gets mad at Jet Jackson for lying and she insists that she don't need a bodyguard. She storms off and that's when they catch some mass criminal breaking into their shit. Hand over the mic, fish. <laughs> what fish? I, I, I have no fish. Turns out this criminal had nothing to do with the smuggling. He was just some regular innocent fan, just stealing some panties or something. So they let him off the hook. What the fuck? This nigga a pervert. Y'all let this nigga back on the streets? You take something from me, sell it on the internet, and make some extra cash. Yes. Go on. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. Caring about me only for my fame. No one wants to know who I really am. I do. Seriously, what is the age difference here? Beyonce is definitely a grown-ass woman, right? I'm like 90% sure of that. Wait, where are the other members of Destiny's Child? They haven't got any type of screen time so far. They were in that rehearsal scene in the beginning for like 8 seconds. They haven't been back on the screen since. That's sad, bro. They on that bullshit already, huh? Like, y'all couldn't give them their own B-plot? You gave it to the grandma motorcycle story. They could have been involved with that or something, bro. Give them something. That's not even cool. This is really making me sad right now. So they all done filming for the day and they in the real world now. They unwinding and talking about being TV stars or something and bonding. It's a lot of romantic tension going on here. I'm not imagining this shit. <laughs> you are so cute. I mean, you do your show and you keep it real. What? It's not like that. Our relationship is strictly professional. Jet? Huh? My name is Beyonce. And, and uh, no need to introduce yourself, Miss Knowles. Might I add that uh, Bills, Bills, Bills was a uh, intelligent yet ironic statement of socioeconomic and gender politics. Okay, okay. Yeah, Beyonce, you're not even in school at this point. Clearly she a grown ass woman. She got Bills, Bills and shit. Automobiles. Why are you flirting with this child, Beyonce? Answer me. Have a good show. Thank you. Turns out this ponytail guy is the bad guy the whole time. He was their manager or something. I don't even think I mentioned this nigga. Jet Jackson and him have a hand to hand combat scene to the song Bugaboo. It's pretty intense. And no, the other members of Destiny Child do not show up for the climax. They not in it no more, bro. Why you even bring these bitches if you're not gonna let them do nothing? Sorry to ruin your plans, but the show must go on. I tell you, I'll bring him in 20 Stop it! Here you are. I can't believe it's over. Bye, Jet. Get 
She'll always be my little brother down in Wilstead. <laughs> Fuck y'all! Turns out Beyonce didn't want to smash Jet Jackson after all. She was just playing a role for their TV show. I mean, yeah, bro. What you thought you was about to fuck Beyonce? Yeah, right, nigga. Who even wrote this romance into the script? Like, the Silverstone script had a Beyonce Silverstone romance. Why would they include that? You got Beyonce looking crazy right now. Also, the grandma survives her motorcycle trip and she breaks up with her boyfriend. Nothing interesting happens there. It's hella boring. He's old ass niggas. We end the episode with a live performance from Oh Man, Destiny's Child. The rest of the girls showed back up again. Can you believe it? I can't even believe that. I'm gonna have to give me a CNI nigga just to tell me what the fuck I'm looking at, man. Oh wow, and the ending credit theme is weak too? This Sanford and Son ass beat. Your opening credits and your ending credits are whack. Y'all's really slipping on this one bro, with the music. Disney Channel shows usually have better music than this. So this was probably the first time I sat and watched some full episodes of the show. I get the appeal, it's pretty well made. It seems like there was a lot of love and effort put into the show. I personally wouldn't watch this shit as a kid. I don't know why. Maybe it's just all too squeaky clean. It's got no type of edge to it. Slow as grandma subplots. It's not my thing, but I get the appeal. The best thing about the show is Jet Jackson himself. He's played by Lee Thompson Young. He's definitely a charming kid. He's got great screen presence and he sells the action scenes pretty well too. Sadly, Lee Thompson Young passed away in 2013 at the age of 29. Rest in peace, bro. You an all-star. I'm gonna give you an all-star, sure. Also, Destiny's Child an all-star. All of them, Kelly, Beyonce, and what you call it?